Want to have a better looking stream or VOD? One that's clearer, brighter, and has more detail? Better yet, how about a standard that's on par with professionals? To push the quality of your content, you need to be able to create without limits, from microphones and cameras to capture cards and headsets. We've got the streaming gear that you need to do just that. This week, I'll be covering our range of webcams and lighting, plus some special tips on how you can configure your webcam settings in different lighting conditions so that you can create a tailor-made solution for your setup that looks best on stream. First off, we have our Razer Keo family. Three different webcams for three different needs. First, we have the Razer Keo X. Whether you prefer 1080p 30fps for sharper detail or 720p 60fps for smoother video, you'll be streaming like a pro from day one. Next up is the Razer Keo. If you need a webcam and a ring light, why not kill two birds with one stone with the streamlined solution that cuts down on complicated setups? But if you're after absolute visual fidelity, you can find it in our flagship model, the Razer Keo Pro. Contrary to popular belief, resolution isn't everything. Not when you've seen what a sensor with a larger pixel size and excellent low light performance can do. The Razer Keo Pro is superior to 4K webcams in these two key areas, which means it can provide superior visual fidelity regardless of what lighting setup or condition you have. Create it to complement your skin tone and enhance the look and feel of your setup. We've got the Razer Ring Light. If you're using it as a light source on your face, you'll get a nice little ring light effect in your pupils. Plus, it causes your pupils to shrink and stay small. That way your irises seem bigger, which brings out the color of your eyes. But now let's turn to the Ring Light's colorful cousin, the Razer Key Light Chroma. This baby is basically an all-in-one accessory for professional studio lighting in any setup. With a customizable color range from 3000 to 7000K, you can adjust the Razer Key Light Chroma to achieve a warm, balanced, or cool white tone so that you can look your best on stream. On top of that, it's powered by Razer Chroma RGB. With access to over 16.8 million colors and lighting effects, sync it with your Razer Chroma ecosystem to really set the mood for your stream. If you're looking to level up your audience engagement, the Razer Keylight Chroma comes with interactive stream lighting that reacts to stream events, such as subs, donations, and more. When it comes to control, you'll have access to all its settings on PC via Razer Synapse. And for quick on-the-fly adjustments, you can simply make those tweaks on your phone via the Razer streaming app. Now that you've got a better idea of the lighting and webcams we offer, I'm gonna show you how they can work together. In this case, I'm using the Razer Keylight Chroma and the Razer Keo Pro to show you how to optimize your settings to look best on stream. When Keylight Chroma is used to illuminate your face, i.e. using white lighting, match your white balance that's on your lighting with the white balance that's on your webcam. So right now you can see on my Razer streaming app that my white balance on my lighting is set to 5500K. So I'm gonna go into Razer Synapse on my PC to set my white balance on my webcam to also 55. So setting this to 5500K on Synapse right here. All right, so that's the same white balance. Pro tip, always refer to live video footage when testing for white balance. You'll know that it's balanced when you hold up a white piece of paper, or you can hold up the Viper V2 Pro and you know, that'll tell you too. Another pro tip, take note of the white balance of the other lights in your room. You don't want different white balances clashing, especially on your face. If you look washed out, either reduce the brightness of your key light chroma, we recommend 15%, or reduce the exposure on your Razer Keo Pro. When key light chroma is used as mood or accent lighting, set the key light chroma to chroma, and we suggest pointing it at the wall or corner to create dimension. All right guys, I'll see y'all in the next one.